Okay, guys, um, we've had a request to do Amigo by Black Slate. Uh, it's a bit of an unusual one, this. <laughs> What's unusual is the chaps chat 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 they're falling with the side stick with the drop. Chat 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 like that. Okay. Now this is basically the the beat and the the raw bass line. There are lots of variations with the bass line, and there's a lot of other instrumentation on top of this. Okay, but this is basically it. Okay, now, it's an odd one this, because I said the side stick, the drop, chat, chat, boom, cat, boom, cat is falling, chat, chat with the chaps. Normally the chaps fall on the eights in between the quarter beats and the drop is on the two and the four. There's two ways we can do this beat, all right? Let's make a little cycle range here, put an empty region in there on the drums. There's two ways we could do this beat. We could do it at a tempo of about 60. All right? And use 16th hats. Let's get the brush tool. And um, go to the close tat here. Because this has got swing on this, this drum beat, right? There's swing on the whole song. There's swing on the uh, drums and there's swing on the bass line. Um, we could use sixteenth hats at a tempo of sixty. Let's put in the hats like that and they've got sixteen swing D on. Okay. I did these in with sixteen swing D. Alright? Bring up their velocity. To about a hundred. Okay. And then with the velocity tilt we're gonna lower these ones in between like that. Okay, that's that would give us the swing of the hats. <clears throat> okay, sixteen swing D, but not at hundred percent. It's it's been brought back a bit to about ninety. I brought it back at about ninety percent, ninety one percent swing. So it's not a full swing. Okay, and then, <clears throat> but if we do it like that with sixteenth hats, <clears throat> then the kick is playing. Bring the velocity to hundred. The kick's actually playing eights like that. And the side stick is dropping every other eighth like that. And then at the end of each half a bar, there's an extra side stick in there. And these extra side sticks, they've got this the 16 swing D on as well, like this. Okay, but then <clears throat> that's how you can see that the chaps, which are normally in the middle of each quarter beat, are falling chap, chap. They're falling on the drop with the side stick. Chap, chap, chap. Now normally the drop is here on the two and the four, and <clears throat> the chaps fall in between, in between each quarter beat. So that's one way we could do it with sixteenth hats. But in effect, we're getting one bar of the music in each half of the bar if we use sixteenth hats, because this is one bar here, and if this is one bar, then the drop is falling there on the two and the four. Okay, so if we go to 16 hats, we've got to do it at this half time at 60 beats per minute in eighths. Right, so the better way to do it is to double the tempo. Let's get all this and put the tempo up to double at 100 and not quite 120, 118. Right, and we're going to use eighths for the hats. So get the brush tool and we'll set our quantize to eights and brush in a row of closed hats eights like that select them all make them shorter and make them shorter than a sixteenth so there's a nice plenty of space between them give them a velocity about a hundred 
like this. Okay, and then give them eighth swing D, not sixteenth swing D, eighth swing D, right? Because we're working with eighths. Now we've got the same thing, but we're just doubling the tempo and using eighths. And now we just velocity the hats there down like that. The ones that are off the beat. Like that. Okay. Now, then, if we put in our kicks, the kicks are then playing four on the floor like like that, right? Let's velocity all those up. And we get our drop with the side stick on the two and the four again. Okay, <clears throat> and then the last offbeat uh, side stick is an eighth offbeat. Put it there on the eighth and give it the eighth swing D. And it lines up with that last swung hat there. Okay, it's more manageable to do it this way. Double the tempo and then the, the, the kick's playing quarter beats and we get our drop on the two and four again. But the guitar is still going to chap on the two and the four, okay, with the, with the kick and the side stick. Okay, now let's just work on the hi-hats. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, at the end, with this last offbeat side stick, the drummer's doing a, a hard slice. Like, like that. So this hi-hat here, we'll bring it down to that splash hi-hat. Okay. If you think it's moved like that when you've when you've moved it down, just put the note right on the line and re-swing it with the eighth swing D. And remember, I've got the swing. Okay, if we look at the swing here on these hats. I can adjust the amount of swing with this slider. That's full eighth swing D. It's a bit slightly too much. So I've backed off the swing, and as I back it off a little bit, the, the swung notes come forward a little bit. So I've backed it off to 91, not quite 100%. Okay, so everything that's got the swing has got 91% eighth swing D. These, these two as well. Put them on the line, give them the swing. Bang, they've got 91% eighth swing D. Okay, so we've got this sliced hat here for the last eighth. Okay, but it's too long, it lasts too long. The drummer's doing a really tight on that slice with that right, uh, side stick. So we want that. We want that last slice to not last as long. So what we do is just Alt. Drag off a copy onto the pedal, the, the hi-hat foot close, like that. Now a hi-hat foot close note will always shut down an open hat. Right, so this foot pedal note reduces velocity right down. We don't really want to hear it, we just then move it back and the further back this is from the beginning of this open hat, the longer that open hat lasts before this pedal shuts it down. So back here, the pedal the pedal shuts this hat down at this point. So it, the open hat gets longer to last. But if I bring that forward, it'll get sh the open hat has less time to play before it gets shut down by the pedal. And then we get really tight like that. Okay. And if you want, you can also put a regular closed hat with some decent velocity on the same thing and give it the swing to give a, a hard tick there to that to the opening of that slice because that won't shut the slice down this closed hat. But it just gives more of a hard attack to that slice like that. Okay, and then finally, if you want. You can put these up to the pedal, these two on each half a bar, give them a little extra velocity to give it some accent. They're a bit more of a splashy hat, those.
it, that's optional though, you don't have to do that, right? Now, the other advantage of using eights for the hats is that if we want to do the little t -t 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 variations, we've got a nice gap to do them in. So to do the little <coughs> variations in these sixteenths between the eights, here and here and here and here, we've got a nice gap. But these are sixteenths in between the eights. So we've put in a hat in that gap, a closed hat, lower its velocity right down to about 30 something and then we give it 16 swing D not 8 because 8 swing D won't affect these 16ths in between each 8 and this is on a 16th between this and this 8th right so we've got to give it 16 swing D and then it drops back and we get that swing again 90% 91% 16 swing D and we get the like that yeah so we can put one in here swing it with 16 swing D one here swing it with 16 swing D and one here swing it with 16 swing D and that's where the drummer's playing that across the whole bar and then if you want you can velocity those down even more those little 16 swing ones and if you want hold down shift and select them all you can make them a little bit shorter so you can clearly see that they are the 16 swing little ones in between. Like that. Okay, so that's that's the basic beat and it works much better doing it at this double tempo, 118, 117, 119, 120. Then we get the drop on the 2 and the 4 like that. But the guitar is still going to drop on the 2 and the 4. Okay, with with the, the side stick here. Okay, and then this slice, we put that up in volume, put the velocity up. Like that, okay, there's the beat. <coughs> now, let's go back to the original one I made. It's exactly the same here, look. Okay, it's just the velocities are slightly different and everything but, but I'll take these out because I had um, a pedal and the closed tat on that first beat of each half of the bar the other thing I've done is and this is <coughs> optional I've put a center snare soft center snare on where every side stick is you don't have to do that, they can come out. But they can be in if you want. Okay. And now the bass. Now the bass, the bass is doing a lot of variations through the song, but basically, I had to work this out, um, and it's probably not absolutely accurate, but it's the bass is roughly doing this for the, for the bass line, for the G chord, it's a G minor seven. Yeah, do 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 do. But this has all got the eighth swing D on, okay? Which is swinging that note, that note, and that note. So the bassist plays that for two cycles with the G chord. And then for the next two bars, it switches to F. And again, this is probably not 100% accurate, but the drummer that is the basis is then switching to do something like this. Okay, but again, he does variations throughout the song. So this is a, just a basic pattern. And again, this has all got eight swing D on. Okay. Right. Um, and then the guitar. The first two bars. Right. The chaps are on the quarter beat. On the two and the four with with the drop. This is. G minor 7, there's the G minor, and the 7th at the top. 
Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that would be the eight, the octave. Okay. So G minor seven. And then in the second cycle, it's the same chord, but just drop down to an F, F minor seven, like that, and there's the whole cycle round. Okay, uh, we'll look at the bass line for this, there's the cat going mad again. Right, here we go. And I've really softened the bass down for this. That's the bass track. If we look at the EQ for the bass, I've used the high cut and I've cut it right all the way down at 112 hertz, right, so that all the mid and above content is gone. And I'll just give it a little boost at the bottom with a 75 really rounded deep you know I could bring that up even oh, that's a little bit too much now a really deep bass <coughs> the compressor <coughs> might bring the release up a bit That's better. Okay, um, so there it is. Now, just to show you the little variation, come on, in the drums, the little t -t 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 -t, there it is. There, okay, you just put in those little sixteenths, and there can be another one just there, right? And these all get the sixteen swing D. There, rather. 16 swing D, right? And that gives, so that's that, 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 and that extra put in after the hi hat on each quarter beat. So after this hi hat on the quarter beat, after this hi hat on the quarter beat, that one on the quarter beat, and that one on the quarter beat, this little extra hat put in. At a low velocity with 16 swing D on at 90 something percent, 91 percent. That gives us the t -t 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 -t. you put those in wherever they're needed. Okay, like that. And that's it, really. That's the whole thing. But as I say, there's a lot of instrumentation on top of this. There's a couple of guitars working away. Um, at least two guitars besides the chaps working and the chaps are very subtle they're hidden in the mix but they're there there's at least two guitars working away one with a chorus quite prominent there's another one working away there's a Hammond playing away in there as well and some percussion stuff you know it's a it's a busy um, instrumental but that is the core of it and of course as I said the bass it changes quite a lot there's a lot of variations but I, I've giving you there roughly the bass line pretty as best as I can hear it without really going mad. It took me about half an hour to work this out, get it together, but the bass was the bit that took the longest. I had to listen to it over and over. That's roughly the bass what I've done. But as I said there's variations. Okay, there you go, Amigo. Uh, as I said, this was requested by um, Shamir Akida. I think I'm pronouncing that right, yeah. Uh, can you do Amigo by Backslate? Um, I didn't notice this comment actually. Two days ago it was made. Um, there it is. Hope that's useful, but it's, not, it's a different beat in its own right, right? Yeah. I'm 
I'm just wondering if there's some side stick variation which we could put in. It's not in the track, but as far as I've listened to it, but um, perhaps there's some variations on the side stick we could put in. Shut up, cat. Give it some swing, the 16 swing D. Yeah, you can put a little lick like that. Maybe bring that back. Give that the eighth swing D. Etc. You know, you could try putting some variations in there if you want to make the beat more your own. You know what I mean? Shut up, cat. You're not going to get fed. Anyway, there it is, um, Amigo Black Slate, the basics. I hope that's useful.